Hey guys, today we are going to learn about the theory of churning. Before we are entering in this topic we have to know that what is churning. Churning is the process of converting cream into butter through appropriate mechanical manipulations leading to the conversion of oil in water type emulsion of cream into water in oil type emulsion desired in butter. A churn was usually as simple as a barrel with a plunger in it, moved by hand. These have mostly been replaced by mechanical churns. There are generally three methods of churning. These methods are Number 1. The phase reversal theory Number 2. The foam theory And Number 3. King's theory Now, the phase reversal theory which was proposed by Fisher and Hooker in 1927 and it's also referred as Fisher and Hooker's theory. According to Fisher and Hooker theory, in this process, churning is a phase reversal process, like changing of oil in water type emulsion to water in oil type emulsion. The type of emulsion obtained depends on the proportion of the two main constituents present, the order in which they are added and the type of emulsifier used. After churning, the oil in water type emulsion changed into water in oil type emulsion. So actually what happens in this case, when the churning proceeds, the volume of fat globules increased, and the surface area is decreased. With progressive churning, then reduced surface area can no longer hold all the buttermilk, so it breaks. During the churning, due to the agitation, causes coalescence and clumping of fat globules, until eventually the ratio of surface area to volume of the fat units becomes so small, that the reduced surface area can no longer contain the buttermilk in stable form. Then suddenly it breaks, and gives us butter grains, consisting of water in oil type of emulsion and free buttermilk. Next is the foam theory, which was put forward by Ran in 1928. According to Ran, Cream or milk contains a foam producing substance which gets solidified gradually when cream or milk is agitated. He told that first foam is produced during the churning and due to the surface tension, fat globules tend to concentrate on the foam bubble and thus are brought into such close contact that clumping of fat globules take place. The foam producing substance assumes a solid character and the foam collapse. The fat globules then coalesce and butter is formed. Now the Rans theory was based on his some findings. These findings are Air was necessary for normal churning of butter, in the absence of air did not result in churning of cream, overloading of churn resulting in increased churning time. After theory is created it was later criticized because of the fact that foam formation i.e. presence of air is not required in some of the continuous butter making processes. Now, the next and the last theory is the King's theory which was proposed in 1930 and also regarded as the modern theory in 1953. The fat in the cold cream is present as clusters of fat globules and within each globule it is present partly in solid and partly in liquid form. Then the churning breaks up the clusters and causes foam formation. The globules become concentrated to some extent in the film around the air bubble in the foam and thus are brought into close contact of each other. The movement of the globules over one another in the foam film and the direct concussion between them causes a gradual wearing away of the emulsion protecting surface layer of phospholipid protein complex. The globules then adhere together to form larger and larger particles. Eventually these particles become visible as butter grains. The working of the butter grains causes the globules to move over one another. Some of them under the effect of friction and pressure cause some yields out a portion of the liquid fat, others are broken during working. Finally there is enough free liquid fat present to enclose the water droplets, air bubbles and intact fat globules. So, this is all about theory of churning. Thank you guys, if you find the video helpful, then like the video, share the video and subscribe our channel.